Okay, what we want to do now within Autodesk Inventor is work on integrating the electrical design into the three-dimensional design within Autodesk Inventor. We have the capability of importing data directly from AutoCAD Electrical that's designed in a 2D project-based format that allows us to build bill of materials out of this interface and import that data into Autodesk Inventor. This gives us the flexibility to work in a parallel format next to the electrical engineers so they can work on their design and then we can integrate or bring in that electrical design into our three-dimensional models. So what I'm going to do here with these different components is I'm going to assign off um, each one of the electrical components that were generated inside of AutoCAD Electrical to actual three-dimensional models with Inventor. So I'm simply going to select them, right-click, assign to electrical component, and select the component I want to apply it to. Once I'm completed with that, I'm going to go ahead and import the data into Autodesk Inventor. So what we have on the AutoCAD Electrical side is the actual two-dimensional layouts of the geometry, and we're importing those wires and connector information into our three-dimensional model. It's going to give us a visual, an actual visual representation of where these wires run from pin 1 on connector 1 to pin 2 on connector 3, for example. I can also go in here manually and let's say I start to work with the electrical engineers and add elect additional components that I need on this specific model. I can go in after the fact and add these wires. And not just add you know, dumb wire data, but actual intelligence into the interface. So I can go in one by one and add these di different wires, even if these wires don't exist on my AutoCAD electrical layout. So this gives us a new power of functionality. This allows a mechanical designer to sit down and work on the three-dimensional mechanical systems while the electrical designer is sitting down working in a familiar AutoCAD interface. But this AutoCAD interface has intelligence. It can generate a bill of materials because it knows what connectors you're placing. It knows from what pin to what pin you're placing those wires from one, one connector to another connector. And we can bring this information into Inventor. And after the fact, add on to that electrical design so we can work in a complete round trip format working with information from AutoCAD Electrical inside of Autodesk Inventor. So what I'll do here with this model is I'll add two additional wires for, as power supplies to this component. And I want to go ahead and just route these different wires from one component to a specified pin on another connector. And I'll go ahead and define uh, the color and the type of wire that I want to go ahead and lay out. Again, there's thousands of different types of components we can make use of from within Autodesk Inventor to lay out these different models three-dimensionally. Now what's the benefit of laying out this wire information if this is all we're left with? Well, it's not all we're left with. We can actually continue to model up the actual harness itself, and I have very easy to use tools to lay out this harness. For example, I might want to offset from a specific face or surface that I select as I'm building inside this geometry. I can use point data that relates to each part within the model itself. I can go ahead and use my view cube so I get a nice visual orientation of, of a direction that I want to make use of uh, for my view so I can lay this component out more effectively. Very easily I can simply go in here, select the different points on my model, and specify where I want this harness or how I want this harness to be laid out. Now this harness might not just be one um, specified um, segment. I might have additional segments that I need to branch in or branch out from. Very easily, again, I can go to my Create Segment tool and add these additional segments on the fly into my model. I get a heads-up preview of what these things look like. I can modify uh, the locations of these components so that it updates and, and, and I avoid other components within my design. Now why why is this important when I'm when I'm working in an integrated mechanical format? Well, the ability of, of what Autodesk Inventor is providing for us is it's going to give me the ability to recognize how long 
each one of these different segments is as I build these, this harness data within my three-dimensional model. I can do things as I, as I go through this section of the model. I can avoid interferences of the harness to make sure I have enough slack on the harness design that I'm working with. Within my harness properties, I can also add additional features to ensure that the wires have enough uh, slack um, so that as I build the, the actual componentry, everything lines up where it should be and the harness information is long enough to reach different points within the assembly itself. So I'll go ahead and finish up um, the different harness segments within the model and lay these out just as I want these laid out and confirm with my electrical engineer that this is what I want um, to, to build or how I want to build this harness data within my assembly. Now the nice thing is now that I've built or laid out you know from scratch, I'm doing this from scratch live um, I'm sitting down, I ha I'm able to you know, inform Inventor, all right, I have this wire, and I want it to run through this first portion of the segment and this last portion of the segment. As soon as I put that in there, it's going to automatically update the harness itself to be the appropriate size to fit that wire inside that harness in those segments. As I add another wire, it's going to size that up. Now I can automatically route all unrouted wires. I don't have to do this one by one. Notice it's going to it's going to adjust the harness segment sizes based on the gauges of a, of wires. The gauges were originally defined inside of AutoCAD Electrical. That data was pulled over into Autodesk Inventor intelligently. Now I have the harness data laid out for me to use. And I have the capability of saving off this information within Autodesk Inventor. So I'm simply going to save off this entire harness segment that I just generated. And my end goal or end result of what I'm trying to generate is the overall nail board within Autodesk Inventor. Now again, keep in mind we're working inside of a drawing space, but what have we generated? We've generated a native DWG file within Autodesk Inventor. We can modify this in Autodesk Inventor. We can open this and work with this data inside of a native AutoCAD format, inside of AutoCAD Electrical. I have different tools that make this very easy for me to lay out this different nail, these different nail board components. I'm going to be able to rotate and pivot specific segments. So I have it laid out in more of a clear cut format. So I'll spend some time on this you know, working with this data and laying it out exactly like I want it. So I'll go ahead and pivot some additional segments um, of this harness design um, within the model. Maybe I want to pivot off some additional geometry here. But I can take the time and lay this out precisely, you know, as I want it so that I have everything lining up in, in just the way that I want to. Maybe I'm going to go ahead and lay this off in somewhat of an angle, um, you know, on this component here. I'm going to very easily be able to select these different components and and be precise with how I lay off this geometry or lay out this geometry. Now once these components are laid off or laid out exactly as I as I want them, I'm now going to be able to bring in some additional information. For example, the data that is calculated from Autodesk Inventor includes things like length of the different segments. So I can dimension these different segment lengths within the nail board drawing. This is pulling the dimensional information that's created on the three-dimensional model. So even though I'm looking at this in a 2D format, it's actually pulling the, the overall distances of wire that I need to manufacture this nail board. So now, in preparation for assembly, I can have the harness data before I start manufacturing uh, components even, or I can work on that uh, at the same time manufacturing is going on, so I don't have to step out on the shop floor and use string to lay out this information. Rather, I can have the harnesses built and ready for assembly purposes with the rest of the geometry. No longer do I have to forget about or use electrical information after the fact. I can also include things like the connector information on this nail board drawing. What connectors are going to be in place on this model? How do I want to position this on the drawing itself? Very easily um, I can lay this information out within the Autodesk Inventor interface and I can go ahead and lay out the remaining connectors from the viewpoint or view perspective that I want to lay those out on the drawing itself. 
This is intelligent data that I'm making use of within Autodesk Inventor. This is not dumb information. If I change a connector or update, uh, maybe changing some of the uh, how the harness is laid out or avoid additional components, the dimensions are going to update. The connectors are going to update. The bill of materials are going to update automatically for me to make use of. Keep in mind, the file type I'm creating is a native DWG to finish off this model.